And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts and outdoor gear enthusiasts. Just Joel here from Atlantic Knife, and today I'll give you a five minute review of the QSP Mamba. So there is lots of options for this one. Uh, we only have one right now, but we probably have more. We'll have more soon. So this knife is eight inches overall with a 3.5 inch two-tone finish blade. So it's got the black finish and the satin finish. I actually like this. Uh, a lot of QSPs, a lot of best techs do this. See, it is not like this. I'm not sure why. It just doesn't. I guess, again, personal preference. does have some jimping, which we all like. It's about uh, 3.5 millimeters in thickness. Hardness is 5860 on the HRC. It is Japanese VG10, which is very different from QSP. I don't remember them doing any type of VG steel knives until this one, so maybe they're trying to, you know, break ground on some other designs, some other materials, trying to incorporate more, which is good, you know. Don't want to, you know, put yourself in one box and be able to spread out, apply to all. Uh, this one does have black, like a marble shredded carbon fiber handle. It's very nice. QSP has done this on a few of their other knives looked good each time looks good this time of course it is a liner lock it's got the satin finish liners here it's got the satin finish tip up pocket clip they could have easily made this reversible but they did not they could have but they didn't a little disappointing for our lefties and me included but you know it's got barrel spacers satin finish as well it has an interesting uh i want to say like the butt of the knife I'm not sure exactly what you would use this for. I mean, I don't think a glass breaker would work that well, so maybe it's just a design feature. It looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not sure if it has any practical use. Let me know in the comments if you if there's any, you know, use you could think of for this jagged design they have on the end here. I can't think of anything other than like a maybe a glass breaker. But I don't think it's quite pointed enough for that. It might work. I haven't tested it myself, but maybe I should do a review, a video of that, you know? Testing glass breaker ends. So it does have the jimp flipper for deployment. I'll show you that again. Very quick opening, very smooth opening. Oper operates on a ceramic ball bearing pivot system. So clean, easy open. I do really like this design. You know, it's starting to grow on me. I think I mentioned at one point that I'm not super impressed with it, but now that I'm holding it and using it, I kind of like it. I like it a little more. Very, like, a little bulkier than, like, a, a CRKT CEO, but I still think Gentleman's Knife. Because I think it just has that look and it just has that feel. does come with the QSP box. This one's a little different than... What I usually see, I usually see like a black one for some of their higher end knives, or uh, the brown one with the little drawer, but they went with this one this time. It's also got stickers, I'm not going to take them out, but they're in there. Man, it's just fun to flip this open. Weighs only uh, 3.88 ounces. Hardness for this is 5860 on the HRC. It is a lock as I mentioned. Two-tone blade, which is VG10, Japanese VG10. Handle is the black shredded carbon fiber. Satin hard, uh, satin finish hardware. Barrel spacers, all that good stuff. And overall, I said uh, I, I'm starting to like it. Just fun to open. Looks good. What more can you ask for? So this was the. QSP Mamba. I'm just Joel with a Lennon Knife and I am signing off.